Welcome to another episode, episode 17. It's been a while, hasn't it? It has been a while. I think it's been about two weeks, actually. There's loads of reasons why it's been a while. The main reason being that every Friday when I do record these videos, I've just been so busy doing stuff. And I'm just like, oh, and I've been desperate to get it squeezed in. Desperate. Anyway, thank you for the comments on the last video. Um, Luke Davis, unbelievable Jeff, crossing my fingers, actually worked, well done on the comeback, what a comeback, sorry, Mega Sting, yes, 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 completed the challenge and reached the playoffs is a nice bonus, it's been quite the ride, promotion now please, yeah, I'm, I'm going to try mate, I'm going to really try, um, it has been a bit of a journey, hasn't it, because I were up there, then I dropped back down, um, oh by the way, if you're wondering why I look absolutely massive, it's because I've got about five layers on, <sighs> Can you see that? This office is brilliant, very cheap, very big, but the caveat to all that is it's absolutely freezing. There's no heating. One minute. Friggin' hell. Yeah, if you're looking, wondering why I'm absolutely massive, it's because it's so cold. Jumper, t two t-shirts, and I've got to wear this because it's like my good luck charm. Oh, what's happened here? <laughs> I choose it. Anyway, um, right. Oh, comments, bloody hell, it's all go. Uh, Johnson here getting that's my weekend off to a good start. Oh, that's nice to know. That sort of helped your weekend now. Good look at the playoffs. Stephen Fry, Stephen Fry, Stuart Fry, congrats on the playoffs. You will need a new goalkeeper now since Doyle is leaving. When's Doyle leaving? 30th. We've got a bit of time. His stats are terrible, but he's putting some right performances recently. Look at that. 8 9, 8, 8, 7. That's why I dropped him, dropped him Speroni for him. Although Speroni were doing well as well. Um. James C, awesome, great, great job making the players, looking at the league table, Doncaster look like they concede a fair few goals, I hope you can smash in a few too. Mm, interesting. And finally, while God, five minutes six into the video, I sent a save and video edit. You know what, I wish I had that much time on my hands to totally rig it. We had some issues last video. Um, it crashed, annoyingly. Um, the game were all right, the game, luckily I saved the game, well, not that often, but quite regularly. Um, if I feel as though my computer's on, on go slow, because uh, it is, this computer needs charcoal to run it, basically. Um, and it did crash. So there was a dodgy cut uh, at one point. But I can assure you, it is pure luck. I absolutely spawned the bugger off that. Um, anyway, it's Doncaster at home in four days' time. Um, what worked for me against the last in the last games, I was sussing out the opposition more. I was looking at their strengths, their weaknesses, and I was changing my formation to suit that, and that seemed to work. Um, and as someone said there, Doncaster looked like can see the fair few goals, let's look at the league. They do, they concede 77 goals, but they scored 87. So, Marquis is at top, oh he's a good player isn't he? And Longbottom, and the guy doing the assists, is these two? Oh my God! How good is he? Tommy, Tommy Rowe, and Garrett. So their lefts really strong. Everything looks like it goes down the left. Um, Alex Kwamia, surely he's related to Andy. Um, everything goes down the left, and Marquis comes in there. So our right hand side needs to be strong. I need to have a strong right hand side. And at the moment, Edgar and Vince a lot. That I reckon McMahon could be overloaded here. So, I'm going to try and tweak my formation. How did I, what did I play like against Way to Oxford? I kept that same formation. Seems to be working for me, doesn't it, that formation? Because I, I did all right, but I'm worried about, um, I'm worried about Edgar. He only had a six and he's playing there. I might overload. Without ball, I'm going to bring in I'm bringing in Welsh into the right. Oh, hang on. They're left. This is down here, isn't it? Um, come on, work. Just tweak him as well. Because what we will, basically what's going to happen is he's going to be covering this left-hand side. So 
See what I'm doing here? I'm, I'm just trying to cover McMahon. It, oh, did that save? Yeah, it saved. He's going to be getting a lot hammer down that left. Uh, I'm going to stick, stick the formation, actually. Um, and I'm going to do a bit of man marking. Um, Kilgallen, has, again, has, has played really well the last two games. And one of the reasons is he's been man marking their main strike force. Uh, so if I go to man marking, and we'll go to Marquis. Um, and hopefully that'll just keep him out of the game. Uh, Chicks and Lions, Welsh, Vince Lump, McMahon, Key and Wilbraham. It's an unchanged side from last game where Key and uh, Wilbraham scored. It's home, it's the first leg of the playoffs. I'm actually really nervous. I haven't really thought about it until now. Stephen Island is full, in full training, so he'll make the bench for Omari Patrick. Who else? I've got, no, Lund. Uh, Dieng, McCartan, Island, Lund. So Dieng can come in defence, that's fine. Um, it's really weird how I'm actually thinking about it for the first time in about two years. <laughs> it's taking this long. Um, I'm tempted to put, bring these back a bit. Do you know what I mean? But what I'll probably do is I'll do that away from home, I think. I think we're going to go out and hammer and tongs first leg and see what I can get in, Wilbraham. See what I can come of it. Um, just need to keep, keep an eye on their left hand side. I should have really overloaded it. No one's man, mark, man marking long bottom. There's going to be goals in this game, that's for sure, and I'm going to concede goals. It, oh, what I could do with doing is. Oh my god, oh my god, what is going on? <laughs> 21 minute hat trick, Vince Lott injured. Stephen Ireland, um, he's just come back from injury, so I'll just check his fitness 100%. Oh, Mighty Lund, oh, I've got to play Ireland, haven't I, in a game like this? Um, oh my god, who's getting the assist? Two assists for Chris Lyons again. I'm going to go defensive. If we get another one, I'm going to go defensive. I've got another one. I'm not going to go defensive yet. I'll wait for half time. Oh my frigging God, what is happening? <laughs> the kid was getting a five. Right. <laughs> How good is this? Right. I'm just going to bring him in. It's going to bring him in here. Let's pull him in. Um. Just gonna pull him in. Oh, Niambi is playing crap. Bring him off for Dieng. Oh, God. And I'm gonna look at their two left hand players and see if that little tweaking off the ball has actually done anything. Just covering McMahon. Right, Will Bram's coming off because he'll be absolutely fricked with the lad. Right, I might be getting ahead of myself, but can I get it to squeeze the player final into this video? I think that could happen. Oh my god. Good lord, Chris Lyons with three assists. Frigging Nora. Right, how did their two left backs do? So, Garrett and Rowe. Rowe got a six. Garrett got an eight. Who got their assist? Kimis. Wow, how could he? Bloody chemist. And that's because I probably didn't, oh, I didn't cover my right left hand side as well. Um, oh my god, what? Oh, this is unbelievable. Vince Lott's after two months, so Vince Lott is going to miss the potentially the playoff final. I think I'm going to go really, really frigging defensive away from home here now. I'm just going to absolutely get f as many men behind the ball as possible. Right. I need to think I need to explain something to the non Bradford City fans watching the video. Um, the reason I was singing a song called Edding Out uh, is because our chair, our current chairman is, or an owner is actually, um, is a German guy called Edin, Edin Rahich. And um, what he's essentially done is taken the club and poured poison within the middle of it. Um, that's quite, is that extreme? I don't know. Think Charlton, think Blackpool, think these owners that come along and they really don't care about the, the, the city, really don't care about the ethos of the of the club, don't seemingly care, care about the fans. There's about four members of staff currently at Bradford City because they try to save loads of money. Our players are rubbish. It, we are bottom of League One. This is real life. 
it's quite depressing. So we all want Edding Out, hence the song. Um, that's, I digressed then. Right, what's it? We're on. Let's clear the squad, let's think about this formation. I'm gonna play a flat back five, and you're thinking, what the hell? Um, and this, this is what I'm gonna do, because, and then without ball, I'm just gonna make sure they're, I was playing them on side, didn't they? And then, um, I'm gonna go really defensive, and the tactics will be defensive. Um, I'm, I'm gonna play direct to Wilbraham with his three mid midfielders going, running him off him basically, um, and I'm gonna rest Billy Key. Is that right? Oh, I don't know what to do. I don't know if she's do. Now let's let's just think about the let's think about the team. Um, I'll have. Killer. I'm gonna play Dieng because um oh, I just um Lines Island and Oh Out of Matt Lund, won't it? Because he's injured his Vin Salon. Will Brown up front and um Will Brown's got fifteen goals this season. Unbe unbelievable. Right, uh, McCart and Billy Key and Pulliam. No, not Paul, you need a midfielder, really. Jit Reeves. This guy in real life, he's disappeared off the face of the earth. He, like, literally just, apparently just don't turn up to training, by all accounts. Genuinely thought we'd be in Burgle then. <laughs> I need to lock my doors. Right, who's captain? Make killer captain. I wish Welsh had better influence, because he, he, he'd be a good captain, but he just hadn't. Right, lads. Cross everything. Whatever you're doing, wherever you're sat at home, if you're in bed, if you're blooming on the sofa, oh my frigging God. I haven't I am man marked, I haven't man marked my quiz. I haven't man marked my quiz and the score two goals already. I haven't man marked my quiz. I'm not accepting this. They scored two goals in 20 minutes. Oh, luckily we're attacking a bit. I don't know how. Should we go counter-attack? Get in! Oh my God, come on. It's amazing what a man mark can do, isn't it? Since I man marked my quiz because I forgot to do it, it had it, 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 it definitely banged in a trick in this game otherwise. Oh my god. Alright, now he has got a hat trick, don't worry, we've got they've got to get three goals. Don't worry about it, Tom, Tom. They've got to get two goals. <laughs> Right, this is just champ man down to a T, down to a T. This is just, this is the game, this is the game, it's what we all love. They take what happens, like we concede a fair few goals, they concede a lot of goals, they score a lot of goals, we concede, we concede a lot of goals. They take that thing and they put it in an algorithm and they put it in a lovely pie and it's a champ man pie and they mix it together and you get games like that. And it's Bradford against Peterborough in the playoff final. Let's suss out Peterborough. Similar to me, defensive, but score a few goals. They've got Jack Marriott up front, and they've got two centre forwards that score a lot of goals. How do, how do they get on with assists? Oh, Craig Chris Forrester, who's a right winger, so we try to get him out of the game. 7-5 aggregate score. Freaking hell. 
I'm going to revert back to my formation though that I played against Gillingham I think for the final um, if I can remember I should have saved it really shouldn't I never mind I feel like I need to get anything. Like I need to get a suit on or something. I think I need to like dress up. I'm going to a playoff final. I've got my boy almost man's hat on and about 18 layers. Oh, shall I wait? Shall I save this and wait? And the next one will be the playoff final. I've got to do that, and I'm sorry, guys. I can't do it. I can't do it. I've got to mentally prepare myself. This is promotion to the to the first division. This is this is it. Um. I've got to prepare myself. Oh my good lord. Um, thank you for watching. <laughs> I'm in the playoff freaking final! Um, I didn't think I'd get to this point, and I'm really tempted just to bash it out now. Of course, I've got to wait, wait a week. Ah, what should I do? I'm gonna do it on next Friday. <laughs> yeah, potentially. Um, oh shit, the bed. I'm gonna play it now. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna do that. I'm not Netflix. I'm not gonna leave it on a knife edge for a whole week. It's just pointless, Tom. Don't be stupid. Right. Let's just get back to where we were. Um, this was kind of the formation, wasn't it? There we are. Um, they've got him on right, so I need to... Hello? Cha-ching! Right. Um, how did Dieng do last game? Crap. I think they're much for much just these guys, these defenders. Chris Lines, Wilbraham and Key, Man Markin, um, will be. Mm, who did I say? Probably him, Danny Lloyd. He gets quite a lot of assists as well, does Danny Lloyd. So I'll take him out of the game, we'll be alright. Um, let's do this. Let's just friggin' do this. Uh, Lund, Polian, and Godowski. Godowski, Matt's after Godowski, what's, what's the point of up playing? <laughs> right, this is it. The final, boys and girls. Can we do this? Now, I'm not going to be too disheartened if we don't actually... Hang on, let's just look at their tactics. Before I start getting carried away, they play pretty... They play attack and they play direct. Um, oh, I need to change mine, actually, that reminds me. Attacking short. Should we play offside trap? Hmm. Who's good at my free kick fright free kicks? Let's put Billy Key on and Chris Lines on set pieces. Free kicks. I'm gonna put Chris Lines on. He's right footed, so Chris Lines. What's Billy Key when he's at home? He's right only. Put Chris Lines on corners. And I'll put Billy Key on free kick. Just mix up a bit from right or left. Um There we go. Wembley! Wembley! Is it Wembley? It has to be Wembley, doesn't it? Jack. 
I'm having my shots on AM, this is not looking good. Oh, Dale. Get in! Who is it? And and, and, and bye! Stephen Allen's having an absolute stinker. Stinker of a game. Chris Lyons, the only getting a six, he's feeling the pressure. Although I did get a randomly get an assist. Oxy took the corner, that's why. Get oh my god! Oh my god. What am I doing? <laughs> Eight two minutes. Will Brown pops up and potentially gets the winner. Do I sit on it? Do I sit on it? Oh my god. Um I can't watch. Mary and Joseph. Oh my god. Well, done it. <laughs> Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Doyle with the man of the match. <laughs> Six shots, four into. I had quite a few shots. How did he get that last goal? Donald made a class save, London was trapped lunch to the bottom. Was... John O'Shea, bloody hell, John O'Shea's bossing it for Peter, bro. Uh, how did he get his goal in Bay? I think it was a corner, wasn't it? Oh my god. Well, there you have it. Promoted. Unbelievable. No cheap players. No Tizal. No Tomadera. No Bakalik Loglu. Just players I've picked up throughout the season. I think my signing of the season, if I'm going to do this sort of thing now. It's got to be Aaron Wilbraham. It's got to be Aaron Wilbraham. This guy, right, 24k from Bolton. I know, and I knew from real life, that he does score goals wherever he goes. He does tend to get a few, few goals. He's played for us before, years ago. I don't know if it'll be on here. There you go. Not for very long. He's a right journeyman. But I know, I just knew that he got goals. And without Aaron Wilbraham, I'm not being funny, we wouldn't have been where we are today. Yeah, Billy Key was an unbelievable signing as well. And Chris Lyons, these three kind of saved my season. Now, let's not forget, I got, I, I got Chris Lyons quite late on. I didn't get until the end of, end of September, which was kind of pretty much October time. Um, and Billy Key as well. I know Billy Key were August, to be fair. Um, but these, these signings, Stephen Allen did all right, you know, whatever. But... <sighs> Unbelievable. Weird. Um, we've been shat on my head. <laughs> anyway, thank you for watching the series. We re I really appreciate it. Thanks for all your comments. Um, I feel like we're a little family and we're getting it through together. And we've got there. We have did the challenge. We've finished above 11th. Um, and unlike the real Brad City, I feel like... I feel like I've got a really nicely bonded team. Is that is that in still there? Yeah, it isn't still there. Um, anyway, thanks for watching. Ideas for the next one, I think. Put them in comments below. Might play the new F Football Manager 19. See how we get on with that. We'll see. Give me some time on Friday, please. Anyway, thank you again. Until next time, goodbye.